Hi hey guys, I just wanted to do another quick video while I had the thoughts. Um, and plus I'm going to be going to Korea, so there's not going to be a video for a few days or maybe even a week or two. Um, because I'll be in quarantine and then maybe I'll skateboard in the hotel room. Oh, anyway, I want to talk about... I was going to talk about... I got about 3 a.m. I forgot what I was going to talk about. Uh, basically, I wanted to talk about... Uh, oh, lipo batteries. And I think uh, for travel... Lipo batteries could be the key because uh, when you're traveling, you obviously don't want to carry a big battery. And plus, if you're going overseas or on the airplane, uh, the standard airline um, limits are 100, 100 watt hour. You can take up to 150 watt hour, but it gets complicated and you have to actually get approval from airline. And they might say no. Then you could be screwed with a skateboard with no battery. Um, so the best option is to carry uh, multiple Lipo batteries. So my new... Uh, right now, it's just in my head. So, the new uh, travel-friendly uh, DIY electric skateboard that I'm going to make when I get back from Korea in about a month is going to be basically um, using maybe two 5S LiPo batteries or two 6S LiPo batteries. So, they're 100 watt, let's say near 100 watt hours. Then you, you can uh, connect them in parallel. Or is it in series? Yeah, in series, sorry. <laughs> so, it becomes 10S. And you can have a, uh, you can use the the connectors, the balancing connectors that come with lipo lipo connectors basically, and have them so you can just plug it in, and also you can hook it up to the BMS, all right? So it's all plug and play. Um, so that's gonna be my next thing when I get back, and the first one I'm gonna build maybe like a dual lipo, so you can carry 100 watt, 100 watt, so you get a total of 200 watts. 200 watt hour, you can do about good 12 to 16 miles range, depending on your motor setup. Now, uh, for the future, maybe I'll want to uh, bring a bigger board, all right? Or with more long range, then I can hook up uh, four 6S batteries, uh, sorry, four 5S batteries, and make it into a 10S 4P, all right? So it's going to be two series and two, two parallel. Um, so that's going to be a challenging, very fun, because the lipo batteries are also pretty safe. I mean, if you use ba if you use a balanced charger, if you use a BMS with them, there's absolutely no reason why you should not use lipos as long as you set you know you can set your VESC parameter so it's very safe and it won't you know discharge below a certain voltage. Then it will do that, so you can keep that a lot safer by moving that number higher, minimum voltage, a little bit higher uh, in your voltage setting. So that's completely doable, and I think. Especially for traveling, that's going to be great. And you know, like, <clears throat> it's easy to find these 5S or 6S batteries in another country. Um, like, you know, but it's hard to find, like, a skateboard battery. You know, they, but it's easy to find the smaller 5S because they're used for other stuff like RC uh, racing, helicopters, blah, blah, blah. And you know, LiPo batteries are actually used on Mavic Pro uh, drones. All the DJIs use LiPos. But they have a smart balanced charger, so it's very, very safe. You know, otherwise we would be hearing about fires from um, LiPo batteries. As long as they're protected and you're using balanced charger, I don't see why they would not be as safe as uh, lithium ion, All right? So that's, I think that's gonna be a problem solver for future. And especially, let's say you need to buy a battery, extra battery, those LiPo batteries are a lot easier to get all over the world uh, versus, you know, customized 10S batteries. They're, you just have to order them from certain places. I mean, certain places in the country, they're, they, they're not just, they're just not, you know, mainstream, whereas lipo batteries are. So I'm going to look into that. And also for my regular um, builds, I'm going to start using lipo batteries because that way you don't have to build a battery, you know, because, you know, all of the, the especially a skate, electric skateboard lipo battery packs are just like huge ripoffs right now. Everybody like, uh, including... M boards, DIY electric skateboards, uh, torque boards, uh, and every you know pretty much everybody in the U.S. they try to rip you off and they sell it for like double, um, you know, just like what you can get in you know. So I think that's that's a huge issue with electric skateboards is that we don't have enough suppliers. So there's more supply than demand. Or sorry, so there's more demand than supply. So we end up getting ripped off as consumers in the U.S. or maybe another country, too. Um, of course, you can get the cheaper batteries from, like, uh, cheapest right now, I think, is from Ownboard, the 10S2P. Right? But like I said, if you wanted to a lot more power out of your batteries, 
And the good thing with lipos is you have way less voltage sag because you have a ton more maximum continuous charge. You've got like five, ten times more power. So you can use a very small battery and still use a ton of power from it. Um, so especially for portable batteries, and especially if you want to take your board everywhere uh, all over the world as soon as this COVID thing is over, I think that's going to be great. And also even just for, for your regular build, you don't have to learn, you don't have to buy, bother buying these expensive batteries. Lipo batteries are so, so much cheaper, they're everywhere, and you just need to make the connectors. And maybe I'll, maybe, maybe I might even make a, you know, I'm thinking, I want to make it easy for you guys to make an electric skateboard. And that, the Lippo is just a way. Then you can just go ahead and buy the two Lippos batteries, buy my connectors or build your connectors and boom, 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 you know. But right now, the really a problem right now, the electric skateboard batteries are hard to get. Um, there are some cheap sources, but they're just not powerful enough. Like Samsung 40T, pretty powerful 10S. 1P, you're still, it's still pushing it, all right? Because you don't want to actually maximize the actual, you know, you want to use maybe half of your maximum continuous uh, discharge output. Um, 10, 12S, 10S2P is fine. 12S2P is fine. But it's hard to find a 12S2P. Nobody sells a Samsung 40T. 10S2P, um, you can get it from, like I said, Ownboard. But you could also get, I just feel like it's a better way to get Lippos. It's going to be ch slightly cheaper. And you're going to be able to easily get it everywhere. Like, you can go get Lippos on Amazon, eBay, everywhere. It's everywhere. So the price is a lot lower. And um, it's just easier to work with for people who want to actually build their own skateboards. And you're going to have a ton of power. You're never going to have to worry about power. And, you know, people are building these giant 10S, 7P, 8P batteries. Um... But you don't really need to do that uh, with the lipo because it's all the battery itself is built in. You just have to add the BMS and wire the connections, and boom, you got a battery much much quicker. And I think it's just, it's much a better way to work at it. So long as you put the BMS, put the, all the connections right, it's going to be just the same. And but you're going to have a ton more power uh, than uh, lithium ion, and you're going to be able to build much smaller boards, much more portable boards, much lighter boards. All right, so there's, you know, if you go on the SK forums, um, there's a ton of people who are doing that already. Um, but I wanted to do it in a, so easy, you guys can easily do it. So I just want to talk about my ideas. So Lippo um, batteries, putting them in parallel and series. And, it, you know, that way you don't have to build, you don't have to have a spot welder. You just worry about buy those connectors, wire them up, solder up. And boom, you you don't have you know it saves so much time. And I realize I love building my lithium ion batteries, but it's it's just a hassle. It takes me like three or four days to build one giant battery, and it's just like I built one, but I'm like I don't want to do it again, you know. <laughs> and uh, really, really getting interested with uh, lipo batteries now. And I'll go ahead and test out my board. Hopefully, it won't <laughs> cost. Five. I don't think it will, uh, but I'll test out uh, when I'm out of quarantine in Korea. Uh, with my new single belt and uh, when I get back we'll work on some lipo electric skateboards so if you guys want to see the future uh, tutorials I'm gonna make tutorials on all that um, definitely subscribe and then I have the new forum and we're gonna start posting random ass stuff um, you can join and you know and that's also where I'm posting all my um, you know own board repair stuff so if people send it to me I'm gonna you know update it with photos so that way you know what's being actually done and I'm gonna actually start um, maybe a business, local business where I'm repairing. The problem with these big giant skateboards, for example, Ownboard, it costs a hundred bucks to send an electric skateboard from here to Washington, D.C. I just tried it, right? But uh, if from China, it's going to be like, it's going to cost you like two, three hundred bucks to just send your board back and forth. If you have to pay for shipping, that's already six hundred bucks you're out. And that's a huge problem logistics right now with these big giant thousand dollar boards. It's it's hard for companies in China to give you customer support, and it's for so that way if I can start maybe locally, I think there's going to be a lot of people with broken boosted boards because right now boosted board is just like no one repairing them. If you want to repair it, you're going to have to send it to somebody in the U.S. somewhere. There's a few people. Uh, it's going to have to pay a hundred bucks shipping back and forth. That's two hundred bucks you've spent already. Plus, they're going to charge you two, three hundred bucks to fix it. That's five hundred dollars. That's half of what you pay for your boosted board, all right? <laughs> and that's why I think the local economy, I think that they absolutely need it. And I think I'm going to specialize in uh, local. 
And then if I make enough money, then I'll, I'll maybe hire some people, get in an office and then, you know, run this business. And then, you know, I can really just help a lot of people repair their boards, especially the boosted, um, you know, because at this point I can repair any, any kind of board, you know, because I built so many boards and mess with, uh, with it, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident I, I can fix any, any electric skateboard in the world right now. Um, of course, it's also a learning process. I'm still haven't dealt with like trampet boards and stuff like that. I probably won't mess with those. Maybe I'll just mess with like the simpler boards. Like Evolved is really easy. A boost is really easy. Well, not easy. I don't really like boosts so much. They have too many proprietary connectors. I really like Evolved because they really standardize. You know, the standard S gate right now really follows what Evolved has done uh, with the belt size, with the pulleys, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts on Lippo uh, skateboards. What do you think about uh, building Lip? If you have built some, um, show off. Uh, if you built some, um, show off in our new forum. Maybe some photos and stuff. I'll, I'll make a new section later today where you can show off your, your builds um, with your Lippo stuff. And yeah, this is going to be great. We're going to start this new forum. Um, work on new ideas, new new skateboards, icebox skateboards, box skateboards, whatever. I'm going to just start making all kind of um electric skateboards i've got a, a lazy boy uh, sofa that i got it was free on the street so i picked it up in my garage so i'm gonna make that into a lazy boy reclining skateboard it's gonna be great anyway have a great day guys just last um just want to tell you some stuff let's talk to you signing out